we have this idea of someone who causes harm is like the guy who leaps out from behind the bushes at, late at night or they look a certain way because they're a person of color or they're low income or whatever stereotypes media and the culture has created about people who cause harm which are obviously not an accurate reflection of reality abuse and and violence can happen across all income levels and races and professions. And we've seen that happen time and time again over the last few years with the Larry Nassars and Jeffrey Epstein's and Woody Allen's and all of these people who are, you know, represent these like incredibly powerful elite identities. And that's why they were able to cover up their abuse for so long and render their survivors further invisible because they were the antithesis of what people imagine or assume is someone who can abuse. That's really the reason I want to tell my story is because I do think it's emblematic of these societal notions of who can be abusive and who can cause harm. And we know, at least cognitively as a culture, that that isn't true. Again, because we've had Me Too, we've had all of these moments of like reckoning with, oh my God, white, successful, like academically educated people can also cause harm, like mind blowing. And we've had to reckon with this. And still there are people, and unfortunately a lot of people who don't see that. And especially almost everyone who's been involved with this have also been white, highly educated professionals. Um, and I don't think that's a coincidence that these people are the ones who are having a hard time believing that this can happen by someone who looks like them. The truth really is something that cannot be changed. And I'm not gonna let anyone tell me that it's different or try to manipulate it anymore. <laughs>